Frank Haight from Tulsa, the Golden Hurricane at 11 and 6 overall, 1 and 3 in American Athletic Conference play. They will be in action Wednesday against UConn, 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN News. Coach Haight, thanks for joining us. Please tell us about the Golden Hurricane to start the 2018-19 season. Thank you. Uh, obviously, we're uh, we were in a good place. I think uh, you know, league league play started. Uh, we had uh, uh, started out at Houston, which is obviously very very good, and um, I thought we competed well. Uh, then we came back, had a good win over a very good South Florida team. I, I think they do a, a great job, and then then we had the quick turnaround two games at Cincinnati, Cincinnati here, where it was tough tough loss where. We played good enough to win the game, but we didn't finish plays, and you know we didn't make free throws. We had, had some turnovers that hurt us down the stretch, and then you know, uh, 48 hours later, we had to go play SMU on the road, and that didn't fare too well there. And I thought if I could just one game, that I felt like we didn't compete at the level we needed to compete at. That was that the game, uh, and I, for the most part, I think we've done that all year. And in that ball game, I just felt like we did not compete at the level we need to compete at to win, particularly on the road against a very good very good ball club. Thank you, Coach. And a reminder to our participants to ask a question. Star one on your keypad. We will take a question from David Borges with New Haven Register. Hey, Frank. How you doing? Just doing great, to get, David. Uh, good. Just wanted to get your thoughts on UConn entering Wednesday's game, what you what you've seen them from them so far, and uh, you know how different they might be this year under under Coach Hurley. You know, haven't watched a whole lot of them yet. Uh, obviously, getting into it today, um, I think you know the times I've watched them. I mean, I think they, they, they obviously they they compete at a high high level. Uh, our league is, is is one of you know if you're not ready to play, uh, you could get embarrassed. And I think UConn's one of those teams because of their guards. Um, those guys, they can score on all three levels, uh, all three of them, and Vitale, uh, Jalen, and, and uh, all three. I mean, they did put so much pressure on you. And then I think Cobb and Carlton have made great improvements from last year, and, and you know, they're, they're now scoring more around the basket and being uh, more active. And, you know, Polly has made some great improvements too. So they 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 compete. They really get after it, and I think – Danny's got those guys playing extremely hard. I was really impressed watching them over at the, the weekend at Cincinnati and how well they competed against those guys. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We will take our next question from Don Dom Amore with Hartford Current. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I think, as you know, uh, UConn has not won at Tulsa since you've been in the league and. I know you'd won 15 in a row uh, there before uh, the Cincinnati game. What what makes uh, your place, the Reynolds Center, such a difficult place for teams to come in and win? Well, I, I don't I don't know other than I think most teams play better at home than they do play on the road. But I think we've had I really uh, appreciate our support in terms of our fans and our student body. They their 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 energy in the building. Um, and we just play. We just play better. We play better. We play at home. We play with a little bit more pop, a little bit more confidence. And uh, uh, we've been very fortunate. I think last year game we were very fortunate to win the game. Uh, we hit a three, uh, falling out of bounds, almost to, to go to the game in full time. And, and we've had a couple games like that against UConn, where I think we just we just made more plays down the stretch. And, and uh, you know, so much of this game is, is just who makes a shot and who misses a shot and and, and just so we we're just fortunate enough in those games, a couple games, at least the last couple of games we played UConn here, we just made a couple of shots, more, more shots than they did. Right, thank you, Coach. Uh huh. Thank you. We will take our next question from Kelly Hines with Tulsa World. Frank, I know a couple of years ago uh, y'all lost a hard-fought game against Cincinnati and then kind of struggled to overcome that disappointment, um, I think, over the next couple of weeks after that. I know this is a completely different team, but how do you avoid something like that um, happening with this group? You know, that is a concern, Kelly. I think we, we've got to get our guys back on track and 
we got to get our, you know, so to speak, swag back. I mean, our confidence. We didn't. We looked very timid uh, the other day against SMU. We looked very tentative uh, in our attack. Uh, you know, we got, like I said, we got a couple of shots blocked, and we looked like we were, uh, you know, we were frazzled, and uh, we could never get out of it. And you know, when we started the second half and we got it going a little bit, it looked like we had good movement, good bounce. We cut it to six, and then we had a really bad turnover there in the back court where we. Uh, stole the ball and, and they they kind of tipped it and Martin's losing the ball and, and Shagwell hits a three in the corner and then we come down we take another quick shot and then um, we give up another three and then you could just see us lose our our confidence again so somehow we got to be a little bit more mentally tougher than that uh, where we can can fight through adversity a little bit better particularly on the road I have not seen that yet and then and that was disappointing the most disappointing thing. And again, against SMU, and they shot the ball extremely well and played well, but we didn't have that 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 mentality, a fight back mentality when we had some adversity. And um, but but um, you know, I'm hopeful that we can, you know, get over that uh, Cincinnati game pretty quickly. And uh, we should have uh, going to SMU because uh, you know, like I said, one game can't make your season or break your season. And we got to get ourselves back ready to play at the level uh, we've been playing at, and what, that I think we're capable of playing at. All right, thank you. Thank you, Kelly. And just a reminder, star one on your keypad to ask a question for head coach Frank Haith. And coach, quickly, Daquan Jeffries has really been a do-it-all player for you, leading the team in scoring, strong rebounder, defender, leading the team in blocks and steals. Talk about his ability to really be able to do it all on the court. You know, he's had a great, great year, and I think it's, you know, we, we re- rely on him so much, and, and that, that really hurt us the other night against um, SMU when he was 3-for-10. He struggled a little bit scoring, and, and uh, but he's been a guy that's been, you know, able to do do it on both ends. He's our best defender. He obviously talked about his block shots and his steals and his rebounding, but uh, where he's made these great strides and improvement is his outside shooting and um, he's really put a lot of work in there, and I think that makes him tough to defend because he does have the ability to drop the ball and get to the rim and and um, and create. And um, but he, you know, he's a he's a, he's a valuable guy for us, and a, a guy that we're count on night in and night out to have production on both ends, and and we need him to play at that level for us to be successful. Thank you, Coach. And down the stretch, would you say that there is an X factor for the Golden Hurricane that can make the difference for Tulsa this season? Well, you know, I think, you know, Sterling is our all-conference, uh, preseason all-conference player, and I think he has yet to hit his stride yet. And I think, you know, when you know we need him to play at the level I think he's capable of playing at consistently. And I think if we see that and, and he can get to that level again, I think you can see our team uh, become better and and continue to improve. And um, but it, you know, being a senior, and I know he wants to have a kind of senior year that 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 is uh, of success. And I know he's put in a lot of work, but uh, he just hadn't hit his stride yet. And I think I think Sterling is that guy for us. I mean, I think you know Martins and 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 Daquan are going to be you know who they are, and we need their scoring and and what they bring. But I think Sterling is such a value. Uh, with what those guys do, if he's on his game, I think he, you know, he's when he's he's on, on top of his game, he's able to do not just for himself, but he gets others involved, and and I think that's what we got to get back to, and 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 uh, but he's the he's the X factor for us. If he's starting to play at another level than we think he's capable of, I think you know our team will improve and play better. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Good luck this week, and we will speak to you again in February.